Uh, Cameron Leach here for Black Tree TV with the uh, beloved actor, Mr. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. How are you today? I'm uh, well, thanks. How are you? <laughs> Doing good. So what uh, what drew you to this role? Well, first and foremost, uh, the director, mm -hmm. Robert Zemeckis. Yeah, um, wonderful guy. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, the guy that made Back to the Future, Roger Rabbit, mm -hmm. Forrest Gump, Castaway, Flight, so many great movies. And, uh, you know, just just having a meeting with him, I was, I was thrilled. <laughs> and I didn't know what he was going to ask me about. And then when he brought up this role and this story, yeah. I was, I was, I mean, I was pulled over. Man, you really nailed that French accent. How did you go about preparing for Thank the role? You. <laughs> well, I've always loved the French language and French culture and French movies especially. Mm -hmm. And um, I studied in high school and college and I've traveled there. See, I studied Spanish, so you, you're way ahead of me. Yeah, <laughs> so there's that. Um, but uh, this was actually a really fun opportunity to get, mm -hmm. you know, to improve my French and, uh, and really work on it. Uh, sometimes you find yourself going back into that French accent while you're at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like making eggs, and I'm like, "Oh no, this has gone terribly wrong." Yeah. <laughs> but does it happen? <laughs> so I, I feel like the uh, the move is very good. Um, uh, two thumbs up. Thank now, you. Um, there was a moment in the. Uh, I don't know thing. if you're allowed to give two thumbs up as one person. You can't. I, no, I think you need two people. You to need give two? two thumbs up. I mean, I guess you do have two thumbs though. I guess that's right. <laughs> That's a good point, though. So it was a moment in the film where uh, Charlotte LeBun's character pulled you out outside to nail the coffin, and uh, she said you didn't actually get to, you, you never thanked your team. Is there a moment or that you, or is there people that you want to thank to, to say thank you to that helped you get to where you are today? Sure. I mean, there, there's so many people. Um, it's funny because actors are in front of the camera. Yeah. And so when you see an actor's performance, you think it's the actor doing that. And the actor had something to do with it for sure, but there's so many people who contribute to that performance that you're seeing. You know, the the camera shooting the actor, the editor who who really cut together the timing of that performance. Yeah. Not to mention the writer who wrote the words or the director who was overseeing all of that. Um, you know, filmmaking is a collaborative art. Mm -hmm. And I love that about it because I love working with with other people. Uh, you know, if you wanna if you wanna just work on your own, you know, paint. <laughs> <laughs> Philippe uh, Petit, um, very courageous guy um, in in the film. Would you say uh, walking a wire, high, high walking or high line walking? Would you say that's an art, or would you really say it puts food on the table? That's a good question, right? The the difference between art and commerce. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for one thing, Philippe didn't make any money hmm. uh, walking on the high wire, although. You know, to complicate matters, you could say, yeah, but it made a name for himself, and yeah. that's how he was able to earn a living moving forward. Um, but the truth is, is that he's he's not like a rich man, yeah. like, even now. Uh, but um, I think that labels like uh, art or pop or you know uh, whatever else you want to put categories on things, they're sort of missing the point. Yeah. Like. Really, every, every experience is unique. Every human being is unique. Every moment in time is unique. And all these things, if you're, if you're too busy categorizing them, you're probably missing the good stuff. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't worry too much about it. Joe, final question. Uh, one thing I ask everybody. Um, do you have any advice for anybody that wants to be where you are today as such an amazing actor? Sure. Oh, thank you for saying so. Um, you know, <clears throat> what I would say is, is, is if you want to, um, you know, work in show business, first of all, ask yourself why. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Is if what you want is um, like fame, and you know, glitz and glamour and all that, um, do something else. Yeah. You know, go work on Wall Street or you know something. Um, but uh, if you really love movies and you just have that burning fire within yourself to 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 express the stories in your head then the answer is do it just do it don't worry about trying to move to hollywood or getting an agent or any of that just like get together with some friends and start making things and start small you can make a, a minute long short film and then make five more of them and then make a two minute short film and make 20 more of those and I'm actually not even exaggerating with my numbers. Yeah. Like, I've made so many little short films and videos, and a whole bunch of them I've never showed to anybody because they're stupid. But you can't be afraid to do stupid things yeah. and mess up and fail because that's how you learn. Mm -hmm. and, and just keep moving forward. Um, 
I'll stop there for now. Joseph, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Pleasure. Cheers.